Welcome to After LUTV News, where we will discuss interesting topics on campus, in the community, and in the world of culture with our panel of LUTV news reporters. With the COVID-19 outbreak disrupting the spring 2020 semester, higher education has been pushed online. According to the PBS.org article, one out of every six students took an online class in 2018. The article also stated student concerns about the quality of education they will receive. Panel, how are you and your peers adjusting to online learning? I honestly believe I don't like it. Um, <laughs> it's a very big change. Um, I've heard a lot of my friends say they registered for a face-to-face -face class for a reason. Um, and I honestly agree with them because, you know, even though I've done online classes before, um, it's really different when you're so used to being in front of the professor or um, in front of your peers that when it's suddenly online, it's like kind of weird and kind of different in terms of you have to change everything such as like everything for the syllabus and um, if the professor is able to work with you and be flexible with you and stuff of that sort. I agree. And also there are professors that maybe haven't even used Blackboard before, so they don't really know how to navigate this situation. So that could be stressful on them and then also the students too. I have a few professors that are kind of struggling with that right now. Yeah, because we use, we have to use Blackboard Collaborate in order to have the classes if we still have to have um, if the professor decides to still have the class between the time periods that we have when we were face to face. And every time I use Blackboard Collaborate, cause I also use it for work. Um, it's just very difficult. Either the audio is messed up or I can't, um, or they can't hear me on my end or they can't see me. It's just very difficult that I have to depend on another um, video conference app or a website to meet with. Uh, other classmates and um, customers for the job that I'm in. Right, right. I've been in contact. I mean, oh, I've been in contact ahead. with a lot of people that are Lamar, a lot of students, and they some as an online class and just kind of being lectured. A lot of them saying it's kind of difficult to wake up and just be on the laptop a little bit. It's like they go to class and kind of like, I guess the walk to class wakes you up a little bit more instead of having to wake up and some say they just wake up, put their laptop in front of them and still be laying down. It's just hard. A lot have said that the some professors have just kind of just, hey, here goes your work. Learn how to do it. It's turned in by this day. Which I don't think that's you're necessarily like getting the face to face and learning, and then you have to email, and you kind of forget. sometimes you kind of forget naturally forget because you're at home, and being at home is just like you can easily become lackadaisical or kind of almost. So a lot of people have just been struggling with it, trying to get used to it, and it just not being the normal face to face. See, I actually right. prefer online classes. Um, I normally try to opt for as many as possible every semester, and then I'm enrolled in a distance program at another university. But I understand where the anxiety will come from from other students because it definitely is a lot of self-discipline and you have to have the resources and you, your Wi-Fi has to be strong enough. So I can understand like where people would be very hesitant. And I know, especially for professors going from face-to-face -face and having everything planned out, having to completely put it online, I'm sure that's very stressful as well. I mean, you can also think about freshmen as well. They did not have, they most likely did not have any kind of experience having an online class. So they will most likely be stressed out the most because they're saying, okay, I'm kind of used to, you know, being face-to-face -face with my teacher or my professor that when it's going to, you know, online is just very uh, different. Like for example, it's very, it's more difficult to even contact the professor outside of class. And then if you don't have a time where you have that time allotted to do a video conference such as this with other classmates, it's really difficult to understand what you want to do 
in terms of assignments and stuff like that. So um, it's just very, it's just very different. At first I was, I was so into having online classes only, but then I, you also have to think about the fact that now that you're at home or you're staying in one place, you're going to end up getting more lazy and um, not want to do any of the homework and then you're going to procrastinate and things of that sort. So that made me turn into, you know, not liking all online classes, but I'm still on the pro side of online classes overall. <laughs> so how do you all stay? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Vanessa. Go ahead, Vanessa. Okay, I was going to ask, how do you all stay motivated? You've talked about a lot about people getting lazy and like not wanting to do schoolwork. So how does everyone stay motivated during this time to do that schoolwork? I would think, like Jay was saying, self-discipline. That's like the biggest thing I would say. And right now with them saying stay home, stay home, don't go anywhere. Don't 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 put yourself in those cars or whatever. And it's just like for me personally, uh, I have like this routine where I just do something every day. But getting out the house helps me motivate myself to hey, I, I got homework. So, but being in the house all day, like Brianna said as well, you come naturally lazy. That's all I've been hearing at work with the guys who go to school at Lamar as well. Like it's just like. You want to do it, but it's like, nah, I'm at home. I'm chilling. So it's just, I think it's hard to, but I think at the same time, it's just self-discipline. That's that's pretty much the biggest thing. It's hard, but it's just, use your time wisely, I would say, with the free time we're getting, try to study more or whatever. But I could understand someone saying that it's hard, harder to do that when you're at home. And all you, when you get home, you just want to rest. It's, it's a natural thing, I, I believe. So I'll be the first to admit it really does require a whole lot. Of, <laughs> it requires a whole lot of self-discipline, but you can also get very overwhelmed really quickly. It does kind of feel that online classes tend to be a little bit more harder sometimes than face to face, just because you have to do all the reading of the chapters and you have to watch all of the lectures and sometimes lectures for some of my classes end up being several hours long over even just for a week's worth of work. So it can be very overwhelming at times, but like Arthur said, you know, doing it, doing some every single day, trying to stay into a routine and getting yourself up out of bed, eating breakfast, going outside, Making sure that you're getting up and I guess not staying in bed all day has really helped me because I like to nap. And so making sure that I don't nap all day, and I do, I do my work. That's what's helped me stay motivated. Um, honestly, I'm not even going to lie. The one thing that makes me motivated to continue doing this work is the fact that I'm graduating. Um, in August, I am out of here. So <laughs> I'm not trying to stay longer. So I just feel like, you know, just doing it the first time around and not have to retake the classes is what motivates me. And then I'm also, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but me as well as some other students have that mindset of, you know, when a date, a due date gets closer, you know, that anxiety and that stress starts to build up. So I want to finish it beforehand because I don't like, I don't like turning in things late or not doing it at all. So I'm actually glad that we had that time to, you know, have face-to-face -face while in college compared to those that are freshmen, because, you know, you get to practice time management and all of that. Now we're in a situation where we have to put that into use and use what we learned and practiced in order to, you know, be successful in these classes. Right, right. Oh, Thank you so much, panel. Oh. Sorry, okay. we're going to have to wrap it up. No problem. Thank you for watching LUTV After News. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.